All right, guys, welcome back to Death From Above 40K. We've got another bat rep for you today. Going in at 1350 points, we've got two armies here that, um, well, the Brimstone Boulders are undefeated and the Death Guard very rarely lose. So we've got a bit of a match up here. Got me mate Jake here. He's going to head off the uh, Plague Marines. He's not about this YouTube shit, so he doesn't want anything to do with the camera works. So I'm going to be doing all that and filling in for that sort of stuff. All right. So we'll go through the list. I'll we'll go through my army first. All right. So in the Brimstone Boulders, they've been on the channel before. It's exactly at 1350 points and nine command points. Yep. Got that right. All right. So leading it off, we've got uh, Captain on a bike. He's the Warlord. Um, he's got, I've paid the two command points to make him a chapter master. He's armed with a storm bolter and a power fist, so he'll have a absolute bucket load of shots coming out of him. Um, I think it's Iron Resolve is the warlord trait I've given him, which gives him plus one tough, uh, plus one wound and a six plus feel no pain. And then I've paid the points to give him, I think it's called the armor indomitus. So he's got a two up save and once per battle, he can do a three up. So I've spent three command points off on him straight off the bat, which leaves us with seven, but he gives all the rerolls. Then we've got Lieutenant with master crafted bolt gun. Uh, real simple. And then in the battalion, we've got one, two, uh, three troops choices, two of them. These two just have a heavy boulder in them, nice and cheap. And then this one that comes down the drop pod has combi uh, melter and multi melter. Uh, then in heavy support, we've got a devastator squad with all grav. They'll also be in the drop pod with these guys. So they've also got an armorium cherub. Then we've got land raider crusader with all the bells and whistles. So we've got hurricane boulders, um, assault cannons, uh, storm boulder up the back. Moldy Melter, everything. Everything can go on it is on it, minus the Hunter Killer Missile, but didn't have the points for that. Then we've got the third heavy spot, Thunderfire Cannon. And then we've got a Vanguard Detachment, which is three land uh, speeders. They've got Typhoon Missile Launchers and Heavy Boulders. And then we've got a Captain with a Jump Pack, and he's got the Relic um, Teeth of Terror. So real simple, real cheap. Just give me another command point there, because I need them because I've spent so many. So that's the Brimstone Boulders. That's uh, 1350 points, nine command points. So we'll go over and we'll have a look at the Death Guard. All right, so what do we got here? Running this one off, we've got a battalion. So Terminator Lord, Combi Plasma, Bale Sword. He's got Arch Contaminator and the Fulgaris Helm. So he's a big reroll buff machine. Next to him, Malignant Playcaster, Blades of Putrefaction, and Miasma of Pestilence. We've got one foul blight spawn today, which makes me very sad to only see one on the table because they're so good, but at 1350 points, you've got to make cuts somewhere. One, two, uh, three plague marines. The champion has a plasma gun and then two blight launchers in each. And the other two have bolt guns because that's just, they, they do work. All right, then we've got three myphetic blight haulers. They're just armed as always, multi motor rocket, spittle. Then we got one, two, three plague burst crawls with the spitters and the normal guns on them. That comes in at eight command points and none have been spent, so they'll have their full command points. So that's the two lists. A lot of armor in each list, a lot of firepower, a lot of toughness, a lot of solid stuff. So this will be the decider as to who comes out on top for these uh, solid lists that barely ever get beaten. Bit of a championship round, if you will. All right, roll permission to get back to us. See who can win. All right, guys. So we've got the setup. We've rolled up a mission. So the mission is no mercy. So it's real simple. That's pretty much just kill points. So deployment wise, we've got the brimstone boulders rolled the highest and they picked the deployment side and then the other person um jake has put down first unit so then vice versa but then the brimstones have uh obviously having less units or transports i should say not less units has allowed them to uh set up first so we'll go through them first they've got a pretty quick setup which is the way i designed this army when i was uh making it so you've got the Land Raider. Inside the Land Raider is two tactical squads, Captain with the Jump Pack and the Lieutenant. Then we've got Thunderfire Cannon here. Then one, two, three Land Speeders that move around with the Chapter Master on the bike. 
And then in Deep Strike Reserve, we have a drop pod that has a Devastator squad and another tactical squad in it. So the army sets up relatively quick and from right to left, we're sort of just in the center here using this building as cover coming over to here. So let's have a look at the Death Guard. So they've sort of put their normal bubble of death supported by the uh, Mythetic Bite Horse here with the Lord in the middle, Malignant Plague Castle, we've got Foul Bite Spawn, then our three units of troops. Then over here, we've got three of the haulers um, and that's pretty pretty straightforward, sort of with the 12-inch deployment, you've got to, got to pick your battles, so they've been set up like this. All right, so that's, that's the deployment that he's chosen. So, we'll roll off first, um, see who goes first with the Brimstones having plus one. So be it, mate. Um, so for the Brimmers, yep. Yeah. Oh, geez, what roll? You've rolled it up there. So three and five. So the Brimmers will be getting first turn, uh, unless you'd like to try and seize the initiative. That's a no, mate. So Brimstones will be having first turn. We'll see if uh, old Jakey boy's got anything left on the table when I'm finished firing off my Fuselide, that's what I forgot to say too. So the army's got Master Artisan and Bolter Fuselides, which it always has. So lots of rerolls. So we'll see how much of this Death Guard we can kill. And we'll get back to you in a minute with this Land Raider. All right, guys, end of Brimstone Boulders turn one. It was an okay turn. Things have gotten a bit uh, hairy. Put out a lot of firepower. We'll go through movement first. So Land Raider just moved forward six inches to here just to make sure all my guns were in range of this but not get too close to them. Thunderfire cannon stayed still. Uh, land speeders took around the side to get a line of sight down here and then over here my drop pods come down and released all its contents. So Devastator Squad, Tactical Squad uh, sort of aiming around this way. So what did I do damage wise? <laughs> was as good as I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. And Jake's laughing at me because now he's going to get to have a return. And I'm not looking forward to it because I've, I've unloaded my uh, surprise ticket a little too early, I guess, if you, if you want to put it that way. So, this tank here shot across here and killed, with all of its firepower, two Plague Marines. <laughs> yep, that's with Devastator Doctrine and everything on. Um... Then, this, this Thunderfire Cannon, these three land speeders, and everything that poured out of this drop pod killed a Blake Plague Burst Crawler, one of them. So, at the end of my first turn, I've got a point for killing a unit, um, and first strikes are two points, I guess. But then, yeah, sort of a little bit nervous now because I thought I'd kill a little bit more and just haven't. So, what we'll do is... We'll let him have his uh, Plague Marine turn, so if you can't return the favour and, and, and fuck up my shit. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll get back to you in a second. Drop pods away! Alright guys, end of Death Guard turn one. It's been a pretty good turn. Bit similar to mine, he did damage but didn't do a great deal of damage. So we'll start over here. Everything here moved forward. He attempted to run the Foul Blight Spawn up, didn't quite get the distance that he wanted, but that's okay, and that was even with a reroll. Um, everything here fired into the Land Raider and only took three wounds off it. Land Raiders really are one of them vehicles where, like, if you've got heavy firepower, you either take it down or you don't. There was a fair bit of firepower here. We got a lot of, like, rerolls to wounds, a lot of, like, multi-melters, uh, rocket launchers, all that sort of stuff. Just wasn't a great roll, but still put some hurt on it, so we'll see what happens there. Then over here, uh, these two, so the two cannons on top fired over at the land speeders over here and did nothing because they were within 12 of these guys. And then the spitters here eliminated the Devastator squad, getting first strike and a killed unit and then killed another guy in this unit here. They survived pretty well, these guys here, for some reason. Would have been more handy if it was the Devastators that survived, but whatever. So, pretty much at the end of the first turn for the Death Guard, we're looking at um, even points for both sides, good solid moves across the board, and uh, we'll see what happens next. So I'll get back to having my turn next and see if I can't return the favour to uh, old Jakey Boy and blow away some more of his stuff here. All right, we'll get back to yous. Okay guys, end of the Brimstone Boulders turn two. 
what has happened there's been a bit of movement bit of things there hasn't been a great deal of movement actually so to the land raider stayed still but everything inside it got out and sort of made a surrounding position here um this stayed still these guys stayed still to take full advantage of ballistic skill and these guys over here stayed still so what did i do combine firepower of these three and the multi melters over here managed to remove another plague burst crawl which i'm really happy with um then over here I swapped to the Tactical Doctrine because I figured with missiles and all this sort of stuff, most of these things have a 5-up demon save and toughness 5 and all that. It wasn't giving me that much of an advantage and I wanted some AP1 on my bolters. And possibly if we get into combat here, which it looks like could be about to happen. So, I shot into here. I'd killed three Plague Marines in one of the squads. Then did a bit more shooting and killed another three out of this one. Uh, you, and that was with all combined firepower of this tactical squad, this tactical squad, and this land raider with all its firepower. So it just goes to show how tough Death Guard really are against like the fuselage bolt rounds. Pardon the pun. Um, I ran in with my chain lord. I actually made the fatal mistake, even though it's my Death Guard army. Small rule, forgot about the foul blight spawn that he makes you strike last in combat. And then, because this guy had Blades of Putrefaction on him, he chopped down my uh, Chain Lord in glorious fashion and gave these guys a bit of a push forward. So I actually made quite a, a bit of an error of judgment. I just got a bit cocky and I was like, oh, Chain Sword's going to cut some stuff down. Rin, rin, ran in. And uh, yeah, old Jakey Boy pulled a Swifty on me and was like, uh, 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 not today. So there was kill points earned on both sides in this battle round. So now we will go on to Death Guard turn two and see if he can't capitalize on a bit of my uh, mistake that I just made. We'll get back to yours. All right, guys, end of the Death Guard turn and all I can say is, whoa, <laughs> slow down, you're killing all my shit. All right, so now I know what it feels like to be on the uh, receiving end of my Death Guard army at this point, so let's go through it. The stuff over here, this spat over here wiped out this unit. The combined firepower of these three and this eliminated one of my land speeders. The foul blight spawn single-handedly did 16 wounds on the land raider and annihilated it. And then the combination of these guys here killed everything by this lonely sergeant who's punching on here and the lieutenant. That was absolutely brutal. Um, I got my work cut out for me to come back from this. I have to do some real space marine shit some praying to the emperor some pulling out the big guns that i don't have many of left but anyway he's he's done a real good turn there and um it's times like these i regret putting an army like this together but hey this is the fun of 40k for all those people who ask me if i lose games these have jinxed me because i'm getting an absolute ass whooping here but all right we'll get back to yours with some space marines and hopefully some of this stuff will be dead gone off the table all right All right, guys, at the end of the brimstone turn, we've made some moves, we've done some work. So, land speeders are over here. We've zipped around to this side to get away from some of the stuff over here. Um, backed out of combat here, lieutenants over here. So, what we do? Pretty much everything in the army, missiles, bolt guns, this thing, thunderfire cannon, lieutenant and everything, fired over here and uh, kill one of these blight haulers. Um, it doesn't seem like much, but now their ballistic skill will be reduced, so that's gonna help me out in the battle. And I've gotten away from this thing, so forces him to have to move these two things to come and get me. The problem is there's still all this stuff here, and um, I've got to deal with it. So we've got a foul blight spawn, we've got all these different sorts of things over here, so I've sort of just got to hope that uh, not too much damage is done in this ensuing turn, and um, that I'm not just completely eliminated off the board that quickly, but hey, We'll get back to yours and ha ha, killed a blight hauler. All right, we'll get back to yours. All right, guys, end of Death Guard turn three. Some things have happened, some stuff's blowing up and things are still on the table, woo! All right, so first things first, these shot into the land speeders and did nothing. These things all sort of push forward. Um, this killed the lieutenant that was up in the rafters. Um, these guys 
and everything else here. Oh, sorry. These guys shot over into this land speeder and took two wounds off it. This thing single-handedly blew another land speeder away. Just, just keeps happening. Um, and then these guys charged this guy and he actually survived. So he's in there punching on. So on the table as the Space Marine player, all I have left is a land speeder, my chapter master, a Thunderfire cannon, and this brave, brave uh, sergeant here just punching on, surrounded for the Emperor. So I'm getting my ass thoroughly handed to me, but the game's not over. It is a kill points game, so at the end of it, it is who killed the most points. So I'll get back to my turn four, I think that'll be. Um, I'll double check that and see if I can't kill some more Death Guard and then get killed by him in return. All right. All right, lads, end of Brimstone Boulder's turn four. And have you ever heard the term, watch me pull a rabbit out of a hat? That's what a bloody dunny pulled a rabbit right out of the hat with a power fist. And the rabbit was the Lord's friggin' head. All right, let's go through what I've done. So, first things first, movement phase. Chapter Master went over here. Uh, this guy healed the two wounds on this. And the Lieutenant just backed out, just backed right up out of that. Um, so, what I do, firepower wise, this thing shot at the foul blight spawn that was here, absolutely obliterated it. The reason I did that is because I wanted to charge him with this guy and I could not do that with that foul blight spawn there, I'd probably get cut down. So then I use this, because you've got a stratagem where you can shoot fire twice, to clear out a five man unit of death guard that was here. Then I use this guy's eight shots, because we're still in the tactical doctrine, to clear out the last one that was over here. Then I charged in and mashed the um, Terminator Lord because the, unfortunately the Terminator Lords in the book don't have disgustingly resilient. Don't ask me why, it makes no sense to me, but that's how it goes. Then I consolidated into here, he hit back and didn't do anything. So, it's still not looking good for me because he's got these vehicles, but now he knows how it feels because I think between us, what have I got? One, two, three, four, five. And he's got four. Yeah, take that death guard. All right, but now I've got to survive another round. So we'll see what happens and uh, see if old Jakey boy can't uh, come back and mess up my uh, good win, win streak here with the brimstone boulders, which I haven't won yet, by the way, but we'll get back to this. End of death guard turn and it's been pretty crazy. So he's come forward, he shot into this but did nothing um, and he's tried to kill this guy on the way past with these guys mouth spits but didn't do it and he's coming to combat he's taken two off my uh, chapter master and in return I've taken two off here then over here he come around the back with this and spat and killed my thunderfire cannon so the guy's still alive but thunderfire cannon just just copped it so um, this guy's still just standing here Sergeant of the day, can you say? And then these guys are locked up in combat. So we'll go back onto the brimstone boulders. This is getting down to the wire really tight. As I said, it's kill points. So all we've got to do is keep killing stuff and see what happens. All right, guys, end of brimstones, turn five. What have we done? It was a quick turn. So this shot into the plague burst crawler, done nothing. This shot into it, done nothing. Then charged in there to hold it up. Then over in combat here, we killed the Malignant Plague Caster and didn't get wounded in return. So, um, that was my turn five. So he'll have his turn five, see what he can do, and then we'll see if the game ends. We've just tallied up the points and we're both on eight kill points with First Blood. I think the only one the Brimmers have got going for him is Warlord. But then he's got Line Breaker here if this thing stays in here, which keeps it as a tie. So, we'll have their next turn, see if they can't kill anything, and we'll get back to yours. All right, guys, at the end of the turn of the Death Guard, this backed out of combat. Makes sense if I want to charge it again. It's um, going to overwatch me, and he's made it so that the, the land speeder has to move if it wants to shoot at it, just reducing its its uh, combat efficiency. Over here, another wound was taken on my Chapman Marcy. In return, he took a wound off um, this Blight Hauler. So at this point, that's the end of turn five. So we're going to roll a dice to see if the game ends. And if it does on a one or two, then the game will be a draw. It doesn't. So it's going to go one more round. So realistically, 
Um, I have to kill this unit or this unit to win. I think he only has to kill just this sergeant to get him one point ahead. So that's the aim of the game. All right, have a turn, get back to yours. So, at the end of my turn six, uh, this has tried to run in here, lost some wounds and done nothing in return. My lieutenant, which is the, or sergeant, which is the easiest kill, has ran. I rolled a five and got him from there into this building. And the combat ensues here. Now, we've just had a look at it, had a chat with me and Jake, and all he can do here is back out. And we've already let him have his attacks for this for this round to see if he can kill this and nothing happened. So at this point, we're still sitting on a draw um, and we'll see if the game ends again. So <laughs> this thing's just gonna keep going. All right, so we'll have another Brimstone's turn and see if we can kill these guys. Um, either he kills a unit or I kill a unit and then the game it comes to an end and we'll see who won. He's probably got an easier job of doing it. I've just got to sort of steer clear of him. So, we'll get back to it. All right. All right, guys, we both have one more turn and done absolutely nothing to each other. Stayed in combat over here and kept fighting because he, if he backed out, he wouldn't get another turn to do anything. My guy stayed in here and these guys stayed in combat. So, at the end of all of this, it's a draw. Um, hope you've enjoyed this. Um, we've, we've just had a bit of a chat. And uh, <laughs> funnily enough, they're still on the table. But he's picked the Myphetic Blight Hauls as man of the match. Just throughout the game, hard to kill, doing work. And I've picked the Land Speeders. Um, every time I've used them, they are reasonably easy to kill, but at the same time as the game goes on, they put out firepower, get moving around, do all that sort of stuff. So there you go. These two armies that are just, uh, built to hurt, clashed on the battlefield, and, uh, have ended up in a draw. So that's eight points all. So at the end of this, that's, that's all I can do. Can't do any more. That's seven turns. It just didn't end and no one ended up getting the win. So if you like this, um, hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If not, if, don't do it. And uh, we'll get back to you with some more um, battle reports and uh, hiding sergeants. All right, guys.